everyone my name is amol i am a geomatics specialist today i want i am going to tell you about the gnss planning services offered by trimble it's an online service and it is useful for planning your gnss survey trimble is a world leader in supplying survey equipment and software before doing gnss survey it is important for us to plan it in the office and to understand some parameters which are very critical in gnss survey so let's start first you have to open a browser it can be any browser say microsoft edge or google chrome or mozilla and type gnssplanning.com and hit enter when you do that the website will open and you will see you will see something like this so first thing you have to do is you have to enter some settings in the latitude and longitude column you have to enter the rough coordinates of your survey area so i am entering these coordinates 23 degree north latitudes and 58 degree east longitudes if you are planning the survey from your survey area itself then you can click on this location and your device will detect your location and it will be shown here i'm not changing this height value now elevation cut off is very important in in gnss planning because it determines the visibility or the number of satellites so around it around 8 to 10 satellites are visible all the time above cut off elevation angle of 10 degrees so make it 10 then you can choose the date of your survey suppose you are doing the survey tomorrow so you will select a date from this calendar button this one then you will select the time zone where you are based so this is the time zone i am selecting then you have to decide at what time you are going to start your survey so i have selected 8 o'clock in the morning and then you have to select the period for how many hours you are going to do the observation so let us say 6 hours after this you just click on the apply button the next thing you have to do is you have to select the gnss from the gnss library over here you see that there are six gnss systems gps glonass galileo and bedo are global global gnss whereas quasi and the indian regional navigation and satellite system are the two regional gnss this is from usa russia europe and china and this is from japan india because these two are regional so this will not be part of our survey so we will deselect it and we will also deselect bedo and galileo we are only going to use glonass and gps for our observation so once these settings are done then you can move to satellite library over here you will see the details about each satellite of gps and glonass so you can see that 30 out of 31 satellites will be available tomorrow from 8 o'clock one satellite is unhealthy if you do not want this unhealthy satellite to be part of your survey you just remove it either you can choose all satellites that means the unhealthy satellite will also participate or you can just click on healthy if you can remove one by one also like this okay similarly you can check it for glonass so in glonass all 24 satellites are available so that's very well for us the next thing is based on this information now there are some charts will be generated so if you click on the charts button you will see that there are different charts based on different inputs so the first chart is for elevation if you remember we have set up a cut off angle of 10 degrees so on y axis you see the angle values from 0 degree to 100 and on x axis you see the time it starts from 8 o'clock in the morning and it ends at 2 o'clock in the afternoon 
because our time period is six hours. So at 10 degree cutoff angle, you at about 10 degree, you will see maximum sight lights are visible. And this legend shows about each satellite. So if you move your mouse around each legend, you will see that in highlighted. Okay. The second chart shows the number of satellites visible during that period. So at, on the y-axis is the number of satellites and on the x-axis is our time period. So at 9 o'clock, you can see that total 14 satellites are available, 8 are GPS and 6 are GLONASS. So from this chart, you can say that at around this point, this point and this point, total 18 satellites are available. Here, 10 are GPS and 8 are GLONASS. So you can say this is the best time for our observation. But if you remember for 3D positioning, we need only four satellites in range. So any satellite number more than eight or 10 is good enough. The third chart is very important and it shows the dilution of precision. Now dilution of precision means the position of satellite in space, how the satellites are spaced in uh, space, okay? So, Ideal value is less than one. One to two value of DOP is excellent. Two to five is very good and so on. Here it has different components like you see geometrical, which is G DOP, time, T DOP, position, P DOP, horizontal, H DOP, and vertical, V DOP. So vertical DOP is used when you are only measuring the vertical heights. H DOP is preferred when you are doing only horizontal measurements. PDOP and GDOP are almost similar. They give you 3D position and TDOP is used when you are measuring the time difference. So you, from this, you can see that the PDOP value is somewhere close to one and a half. So it is in that range one to two, which is excellent. So throughout our time period from eight to two, our PDOP value is excellent. 2 to 5. So this time is good for survey. Here, this chart shows the visibility of satellites, different satellites for the time period. So you can see that this satellite G4, it is visible from 8 o'clock until some 10 to 15 minutes after 12. So you can see that most of the satellites are visible during our time period. The third, the last chart is about ionospheric information. This is about the atmosphere here atmospheric information. As you know, the signal travels through the different layers of atmosphere and it has effect. So this chart determines the ionospheric effect on the GNSS signals. We are not going in much detail about this because the accuracy affected uh, by this kind of error is manageable. So with this, we get a very good information that our survey time and date is excellent. This chart will show you, this tab will show you the sky plot and this will show you the world view with the background map. If you zoom out, you will see the map in the background. Okay, so you will see a map here. Uh, for some reason, it is not loading here. So this completes our planning at office for the GNSS survey to be carried the next day. It is very easy to do and it is very, very important. So this ends uh, this session. Hope to see you in some other video. Thank you for watching.